Well, hello, I'm Mike Festiva. In this video, we're gonna take some simple clipboards and modify them to make some DIY cutting jigs for your plasma. Not everybody has a CNC plasma table in their shop, so this is a simple way to cut circles, like really nice circles, slots, and uh, gussets, stuff like that. We'll jump into it, show you how they work, and then we'll get into simply how to make them and the reason for this. So stick around, enjoy the video. So now that you've seen this thing cut, we'll get into why and how. Why am I making this video and why did I make these jigs? Well, not everyone has a CNC table in their shop. I actually do. But sometimes if you want to cut a custom washer or a little uh, gusset or anything like that, or put a slot for an adjustable bolt and something, I don't want to sit down the CNC and start writing out files and stuff to cut a one-off part. I just want something super simple you can grab to. You can also use this as a non-conductive straight edge on the side for making nice clean straight cuts just with a freehand plasma. Uh, this lends itself more to drag tip like this because the actual center of where the actual arc comes out of is only eighth inch off of that to the edge. So you can make your jigs a lot closer to representing the real size. For instance, like this hole here is probably three quarters of an inch or so, but it's really just a half inch makes a half inch cut. Um, some of the other plasmas have larger offsets on their guides and things like that. But this one right here, this little high night is a simple drag tip, works pretty well. So if you do have a different style of guide and yours isn't a drag tip plasma, you might have to make these holes a lot larger to accommodate it. Just that being said, the reason I used simple clipboards is I've been trying to come up with some ideas for my subscribers on my channel for a long time of making really simple guides. You can just grab, cut out some parts and pieces, duplicate a few gussets and then move on. And I didn't want to buy a giant sheet of masonite. It's one of those things that just didn't need that much. And it seems to be really furry on the back. And I was at work one day and I saw a clipboard. And I was like, ah, that's probably the proper material to work with. It's really smooth and tightly compressed. And I think I found these a six pack on Amazon for like 12 bucks. I'll put a link below to multiple packs on them and a few other things that might be helpful pertaining to this video. But yeah, clipboard works well. I didn't have to have a whole sheet dragged back in my vehicle and um, you can duplicate them. You can hang them up on the wall. You might be able to even use this little clip on it to hold it onto some metal. For me, this worked. Why not metal? Well, I'd rather have a non-conductive material so it's not arcing on the edge of the plasma tip, anything like that. And, you know, ultimately they're going to be throwaway at some point. You're going to, you know, hang up on one or burn the edge out of it. If that's the case, you make another one on here, another gusset point. Once you burn out the whole jig, you toss it out, make another one. But the beauty of these is you can make them, cut your jigs, make custom stuff, whatever you want, hang them on the wall and grab them for a quick application anytime you want. So we'll get into next of making this, how I went about it and a few tips for you. So we'll jump to that next. So basically to make these, it's very simple. You need some uh, clipboards, you need something like a Sharpie or pencil. I like to use an adjustable T-square. Tape measure is good to have around. What I ended up doing was using my hole saw kits. Now you can get high-end hit kits, you might have something around. You can even get really large 
whole saw kits that are really El Cheapos from Harbor Freight, but I think it's gonna set you back 10 bucks. You might use it for some other stuff around your place. Not the nicest kits, but you're just going through Masonite basically, compressed clipboard, so should be just fine. One tip to suggest is when you go to drill, don't drill all the way through, drill halfway through the clipboard. Flip it over, use the pilot hole and come through the other side, just makes a cleaner edge. After you cut your jigs, I highly recommend go through with a little bit like, you know, 120 or 220 grit sandpaper. Clean up the holes a little bit, remove any of the small fibers or edges that didn't cut as clean. Just clean stuff up pretty well. Other than that, if you're working on jigs, for gussets, things like that. Um, just figure out what your overall gusset's gonna be. If you got a drag tip, add an eighth inch in every direction all around the gusset so you actually get the proper size when you're done. Figure out your gusset, how you wanna build it. If you're working on a you know four by four project and you're gonna make four or six of these gussets, it might be worth making a jig for, especially you might use that same gusset on other projects. You can drill little holes in the corners and use a jigsaw and come into them, something like that. I use one of these, uh, Hercules, their oscillating cutoff tool. You can make plunge cuts and cut. Just basically follow all your lines that you gridded out with a Sharpie or anything like that and just make your cuts. Go through again, sand it up the edges and you got a pretty good little jig here. Slots, same kind of thing. I actually used a uh, much bigger step bit than this, but I use a stepper bit to set my different width slots, or you can just use a really big drill bit, but just make sure that you figure out, you know, what your end goal is gonna be, how wide of a slot, whether you wanna make it a half inch slot or a three eighths, add another quarter inch to that. That's your drill bit size, drill hole at each end, just make a straight line between them and cut it out. And then you got a slot jig, which this is actually gonna be super useful in case you're working on say like Harbor Freight style engine to a go-kart and you wanna make an engine plate. Well, you can make the right slot so you can cut four slots in there in the right size. So you can slide the engine back and forth and tighten a belt or tighten the chain, something like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a few other videos I wanna suggest. One is the simple DIY water table. If you're doing a lot of plasma cutting in your shop, usually cutting out small parts and pieces, which kind of helps cut down on, you know, blowing sparks around your shop, smoke, contamination like that, and just really kind of makes the plasma cut in your shop a bit cleaner. Hopefully you make some of these jigs and they help you out quite a bit. I know people made jigs many times in the past. It just was a simple way I want to share with what I came up with. Simple things with the clipboards. And this little high knife here is a 110 volt only machine. I paid out of pocket for. I've been pretty happy with it. I don't push it. I think it's a 40 amp, but if you push it up towards that range, you're just going to pop your breaker. But I run around 30 amps and it'll cut up to maybe quarter inch if you go slow enough. It's a simple drag tip. I think this all for 150. They also make a dual voltage. Honestly, once if I would have known that, I would have purchased that one instead just because you have more flexibility if you have 220 in your shop. So, you know, if you enjoy this video and you want to support what I'm doing here and support the channel, consider buying a, you know, some sweatshirt from me or just even order some of these jigs through my Amazon link or a little plasma something like that. And final note, reason I do this stuff is because I have a core group of subscribers that actually do a lot of fabrication in their shop and have a lot of fun with it. So I'm just sharing my ideas with you to get you more motivated to get out in the shop and build cool things. I get some trolling on occasion too, and you know, I'm gonna get them on here. People telling me how they would have done this so much better. Keep in mind, I'm sharing this idea with you. So it's easy to build off of someone else's idea and I encourage you, but I don't want to deal with any trolls on this one. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Get out in your shop, start fabricating and uh, just have fun. Take care until next time. Bye. Trying out this little 40 amp, 110 volt high anide plasma here. And it uh, works pretty good. Took a, a circular saw blade that was just scrap, cut a knife blade out of it. Salvaged some oak off of a pallet here. Took some copper wire, electrical wire for rivets. And the first knife I've ever made turned out pretty good. The little plasma worked really well.